Welcome back to Sunday Meds. It was startling for me to realize that in the Lord's Prayer, the part that says, give us today our daily bread actually comes before, forgive us our trespasses. And it startled me because a lot of the prayer formats that I see, especially growing up in the church, is people spend a lot of time going through the steps of asking for forgiveness cleansing and preparing ourselves to come into the presence of the lord and then somewhere near the end we kind of slip in the requests and the burdens of our heart this sunday however i want to spend a little time thinking about the Lord's Prayer and the example that it was supposed to be for us. I find a lot of commonality between it and the prayer of Jabez and a lot of the Psalms, Lamentations. I find a lot of similarity too with people like Peter who basically they just spoke from their heart. Whatever was on their heart, that's what came out. And I strongly believe that that is why the Lord said about David, this is someone who is after my own heart. I believe that the Lord really valued the honesty of David that we see so much in the Psalms where David just gushes out all of his emotions and brings them to God. God, and then they work through them together. This kind of posture represents people just being people before God. They're not trying to work out what is the right thing to say or remember the steps of how to approach his throne of grace. They're not leaning on some formula or the right thing to do at the right time to do it in the right place. They are just living in relationship with God which is what he wants, which is what he has called us to, which is why he died and resurrected from the dead so that we could have this relationship with him. They were just flowing with God according to what was going on in their own lives and according to what the heart of God was leaning toward as well. I believe that they had that give and take with him, a discourse, a conversation. Instead of a posture of like, yes, Lord, forgive me, this lowly sinner. I feel that it is reflected in a lot of prayers that we see ourselves primarily as sinners saved by grace. And the emphasis is on the sinners and our lowliness and our worm-likeness and our wretchedness. But Jesus said that he doesn't just call us his servants, he calls us his friends. We are joint heirs with him and we are always to boldly approach his throne. And even while we were sinners, Christ died for us, one of my favorite scriptures. So this emphasis on our sin and our sinfulness is not in line with a posture that God encourages us to have, which is to come boldly before his throne, to have childlike faith, to ask of him, and to be friends with him. The Lord's Prayer really teaches us to have a posture before the Lord that is freedom, that is asker-friendly, a posture of being his children, which is why Jesus started out the prayer by saying, "Our." Father. The relationship that we should have with God is of a child that is not always conscious of all the wrongs that they did and oh my gosh, I'm so unworthy of my parents' love and time and affection. No, we are to have that posture of a child that's like, oh my gosh, I want to go talk to my daddy right now and tell him what's going on and unload and unburden and just be free in his presence. So let us reflect on how we see God, how we see ourselves, and do we find that freedom in ourselves, in our flow with God, in our conversations and prayer times with him, where we are just gushing out our hearts, or are we going through some form of steps to kind of build up to it? Let us think on these things. Think on the posture that Jabez had when he just came out and said, bless me, oh God, and give me increase. There weren't any steps leading up to it. Think about the Lord's prayer and the flow that was represented there of asking the Lord, give us today our daily bread before he said, forgive us of our trespasses. Be encouraged. See you next time.